Welcome, I'm Lisa Curtis, again, so one take wonder number two. A lot of questions have also been coming my way, or you may, again, may have also seen them in the press, about these, um, I'm not gonna name them, just, I'm gonna put that right out there, I am not gonna name any specific companies, because they have been more than happy to go after people like me who speak up and speak out against them. But I'm sure you have seen lots of advertisements for online therapy and get a therapist now, you know, start your day, start your healing journey today. Isn't this great? And full disclosure, for a period of time and before I realized what they were doing and, and what the actual fine print of the fine print said, I worked for one of these companies. It wasn't my best decision. It wasn't my worst decision. And it taught me a lot. And one of the things that it taught me was what you just heard about in my first One Take Wonder, which is about self-pay and why so many clinicians are moving to that model. My experience with this particular company really convinced me that there were many other ways of doing it than just what they were promoting. So these companies where you can get a therapist and talk to them um, online virtually or you can talk to them on the phone or you can text message them and whatever those are all great and they're fantastic in theory in very very heavy theory a couple of the behind the, th the scenes things that you may not know your data is being sold to larger companies you think that what is being shared with them is something that is just between you and that company these are for-profit companies that are looking to sell your information. So if you sign online, if you are looking for a therapist because you want help with depression or anxiety or whatever, have you noticed that part of what's happening is that you're getting more and more ads for depression and anxiety related topics or products or medications? That's because your information was sold to a company that will then use that in that to sell you more products. Um, so they sell your data to advertisers. They sell your data to other large conglomerates that will use that in, honestly, God only knows how they're gonna use it, but they're using it, we know this. We also know that your privacy is not, not only not guaranteed, you definitely don't have any privacy. The tipping point for me was when I read that this particular company could and would drop drop in without my knowledge and without my explicit consent for that session to observe a video session. Now they would say that that was for quality control, but that's still an invasion of your privacy. You didn't pick the person who was coming in. You didn't even know they were coming in. Maybe you were in the middle of talking about something that you were feeling super vulnerable about, but unbeknownst to you, some stranger is listening into that conversation. It's already scary enough and hard enough to talk to a therapist. You don't need a stranger popping in. So that was for me the tipping point, is your confidentiality is in no way, shape or form guaranteed or, or kept private, kept safe. Confidentiality to me is such a huge topic. I could ramble for hours. I'll try not to, but they do not guarantee it. And then reason number three that I left and that many others are leaving and that why you really should consider not joining one of them is that although you are being charged a good amount of money per session to see you or interact with your clinician, your clinician is literally getting paid pennies on the dollar. Um, I would need to work really, really hard to basically be averaging $30 an hour. Um, and by that I mean I was answer answering um, emails and the way we got paid for our email responses was by the words, the number of words, um, my, our words, not yours. So if you wrote a five page email to me, I would not be paid for reading the five page email. I would be paid for my response, but again, pennies on the dollar or pennies by the hour in this particular case. So if you're seeing somebody from one of those platforms 
Um, or if you're thinking that Amazon, when they get online and offer, you know, mental health online, if you're thinking that sounds like a good deal, or I know CVS has started to offer it, um, I would urge you to consider some other sources. Maybe even if you're already there, talking to your clinician about seeing them privately off of the platform, um, or finding something else. I know it's hard to find a clinician right now. It's been hard for a long time. Part of the reason why so many of us are leaving the field or burning out is because of these issues. So please, please save yourself. <laughs> Take care of your mental health in some other way. If you need help finding a good clinician, there are lots of great directories out there. iTherapy has a good directory. Psychology Today is like the one that everybody knows. Mental Health Match is a great directory. Therapy Den is a great directory. Those are directories that will help you find clinicians who are going to be able to really address your needs and be really good fits for you. Oh, by the way, those platforms, by the way, they just assign clinicians regardless of our skills or our capacity. Um, no joke, the first day I was working for one particular company, I was assigned 40 new clients in one day. I had said that I was available for two new clients. So for the other 38, I had to go in and say, I am so sorry, you will need to wait longer. I cannot accept this case. That's not fair to you either. So a lot of good reasons why I'm going to urge you to get your mental health needs met in other ways. Hope that's helpful to you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. It doesn't have to be me. I don't have to be the person who's going to work with you. I'm probably not going to be the person who works with you, but I want you to know kind of some of the things that are going on behind the scenes. My name is Lisa Curtis. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and a credentialed alcohol and substance abuse counselor at KSAC. And I wish you the very best for your day. Bye.